The Iron Sheik is mad at his arch rival, former wrestler Brian Blair. In a recent interview, Blair claimed Sheik sneaked crack cocaine onto an airplane during a wrestling tour and smoked it mid-flight. The Sheik vehemently denies the claim to Howard 100 News' Shuley and challenges Blair to a wrestling match. Yeah, but also he said terrible things about young boys and all kinds of stuff, didn't he? Who? Brian Blair? Brian Blair and young boys. I don't, I don't know. know about that part of the interview. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought I read that somewhere. What do you mean he said terrible things to young boys? I don't know. I, I thought there was all kinds of accusations that Brian Blair made. The, the, the statement's on the Internet. If somebody gets it, I'll play it. About the Sheik. Oh, he said the Sheik was with young boys? No, I don't know. You know, I don't want to huh. say until yeah, I hear okay. it. I just want to say young boys. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. Brian Blair said something hmm. about that. I don't know. Let's get to the bottom of yeah, that. I, yeah, I don't want to misquote anyone. Oh, let's see. Brian Blair is on GP2 in light blue. What a staff I have, huh? Will he taking it? Oh, man, he's climbing. Yeah, we can't let that kid leave. I'm telling you, we got to keep him. Yeah, people love that. I'll read you the email next. Uh, okay. People love Tourette's Pete. And how can you not? He's a keeper. Yeah, he's got a, he's got a way about him, that kid. <laughs> uh, here's Brian Blair talking about the Sheik, but it's like two minutes long. I don't know if you're going to want to listen to this whole thing. Well, let's see how it starts. Right. Let's see if he can hold our interest. Well... The Sheik's turned into a, uh, he's one of the guys that I will tell you that I think is a, a not a good person. And not only did, uh, uh, I remember the first time when we were going to Australia, Sheik uh, had popcorn and uh, walked through the thing and I'm going to sleep here and all of a sudden I smelled something funny and they had crack rocks at the bottom of his popcorn, uh, him and uh, just smoking crack on the airplane, and I can't for not stop. I mean, the drugs, the, uh, the steroids, the workouts, and then I found out that I could not believe that he had a young boy, a ring boy, in, a, in the room, a guy that wanted to be in, in the ring crew or something. And I hear this, at first I smelled pot in the hallway, and I'm smelling this pot and it leads me to the door and I'm listening and I hear the sheik's voice and I hear this little, oh, like a lower tone voice and uh, uh, sheik molested this little kid. In the See what I mean? Wow. I'm telling you. There's all kinds of whacked out allegations. And uh, I don't know what's going you know, We want to get to sheik on the air let him respond to this stuff. I can't believe what I'm here. Yeah, you can't let that kind of statement go. No. Without a response. See, I told you I heard that. Right, Lisa? Mm -hmm. You didn't know about that? Maybe. Hey, Gary, you think you can get the Sheik? I'm working on it. Yeah, I mean, that sounds pretty good. I think the Sheik could... I don't believe it myself. Uh, I don't believe it. I hope it's not true. Right. What are we going to do if it is true? I don't know. Dr. Keith. Oh, Dr. Keith Dr. Ablo, Keith. special, two-hour special on Howard 101. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dr. Keith. He'll fix them. Dr. Keith, the answer for everything. Yeah. All right, anything else? Yes, yeah, Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern on Howard 101. The Re L.A. to be a guest for the uh, pay-per-view Bound for Glory TNA pay-per-view this weekend. Right. Jeremy, Jeremy Boras invited me down to... Go to the All right, Eric. Uh, that's something you should Twitter, Eric. Yeah, that, that, that doesn't need to be on here. <laughs> he wanted me to mention it. Well, I'm oh, sure that, he did. That's how you got invited. Yeah, I invited you, in other words. By the way, Eric, getting a couple of negative uh, letters in the uh, email. 